pwedeng yung passion mo is really helping the person, the people to get the best value at, out of their money. Pwedeng yun yung drive mo. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are the target market for that product. Your idea, your vision, and your drive, and your platform, your business model can actually convince the right people that you'd want to join your team. So that was the challenge for us. So hi guys, we're in for a treat today. We have Yasmin. Look, Nair, I forgot to... <laughs> I'm still Yasmin Neri, but okay. you know, it's Yasmin Neri so yao din. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to say Yasmin Neri. Ah! Yeah, for those who don't know, I've met I met you uh eight seven, eight years ago. What's what's funny about that but we met in a audition, I think, for a for a for a business show. I, I think yes. <laughs> oh, so I, I felt so out of place because I I wasn't really I don't know, I just like sharing my ideas about business, about investing. Pero nakita ko sila lahat, hala, they're all really into, uh, I don't know, broad, nasa broadcasting space kayo lahat and that's where everything. Yes. yes, right now has a business that's highly connected to e-commerce. But before we yes. go to that, uh, tell us about your backstory, how, what led you into this industry as well. Okay, so nagsimula ako as an artist for Star Magic 2008. I was launched as batch 15 and I thought that what I really wanted to become was to be, a, to be an artista. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ayon, I, I was always on camera doing TV series, uh, mga commercials, ganyan. But I always found the back, mga behind the scenes also really interesting. So I started becoming a producer. Mm-hmm. I became um, one of the producers for ANC Screen Living. I also became a producer for Game Plan of uh, Rappler. And then I got into digital publishing as well. I was multitasking. Kumbaga, I was on cam, but I was also a producer. So I was on cam as an old shopping host. Mm. So I was a shop host for five years mm. uh, with ABS-CBN and old shopping. So, sorry, when I met you, you were doing old shopping, I'm not yet. Yes, I was oh. doing old shopping. But I was also a producer on the side. Okay. Yon. Tapos, dun sa o shopping kasi, we were trained in Korea. So, I was actually exposed to the whole home shopping culture there. The 24-7 broadcast, they were selling anything under the sun. <laughs> Kahit yung mga gold bars, funeral services, insurances. <laughs> as in, as in wild. Iba yung behavior talaga nila in terms of home shopping. Mm-hmm. Sa Philippines, hindi pa tayo ganon. Nung time na, that we were exposed and were really learning. And um, bringing that experience with me, um, after five years of being on camera for old shopping, I decided to study more the backside of uh, broadcasting. So yun nga, nag digital pa rin ako, pero nandun na ako sa business side. So I, I joined the abs and Creative Programs Inc. So we were handling yung mga brands like Metro Magazine, yung Chalk Magazine. So that uh, that part of ABS Union, and I became the market head for some of the millennial brands. Mm. And there, I got to understand digital more. And with all of those experiences, na ang weird kasi ang dami kong mga different buckets of of um, experience from broadcast and media. Those those things were integrated when I finally started shop routine. So, Shoppertainment is a live stream production company that's dedicated for e-commerce. Mm-hmm. So, what we do is... Uh... I, I, I have a question. <laughs> Before you made the jump no, into entrepreneurship, uh, did you imagine yourself already that uh, I'm gonna quit my job, this is what I'm gonna do? Or n- normally, the, or parang it was something that you were already planning along the lines that this is what I want to start? Because... Uh, before, a lot of people always look at entrepreneurship as the end goal. You, you talk to a normal employee, aalis ako sa trabaho ko, tapos magiging negosyante ako, I'm gonna start my own business. What, what they don't know is when they 
quit their job and become a, a business person. That's where all the problems actually start. There's more problems when you start your own business and being a business person is not the end. It's not the end goal. So for you, how did you how did you end up being being here? Was it was it planned? Was it something that you just stumbled across based on because it was your experience? It was really my dream to create a certain platform, especially for broadcast media. And I thought, parang I can jump right away na okay lang na freelancer ako nung una and then I can be an entrepreneur. Pero tinry ko siya for a short time. It's just that it's not working because I didn't know the structure. So working in corporate actually helped me structure things and helped me identify um, how I can project sales, how I can actually balance out my creativity into something that's really structured and something viable for the future. So when I learned those things, dun ko na realize na parang this is part of my arsenal when I'm gonna go into business. And then all things just came into right timing eh. Parang hindi ka pwedeng tumalon papuntang entrepreneurship na hilaw. <laughs> parang first, and then yung knowledge and skills, de ba? Second is pera, mm. capital. Mm. So when I was able also to raise that and also have partners, uh, good partners with me who are also helpful in creating the network for that business, um, that's when I jumped and I decided na okay, I think I'm ready. Hindi na siya half day. Startups have a lot of things that a lot of growing pains, no? So, if for any entrepreneur that want to start their own business, what were the things that, if alam mo lang na hindi mo na dapat pagdadaanan, uh, what could you impart to them also? I think yung challenge niya is that at first, you need to multitask mm. and do so many things all at the same time, such as the business dev side, the HR side, the accounting side. Mm. So, ikaw muna yun, isa set up mo siya and then hiring the right people who believes in your vision. Being a startup also is very... Um, challenging for hiring people mm. kasi hindi pa nila alam kung ano yung ano ba talaga yung business kung ano yung magiging output niya kung ano yung future pero your ideal your idea your vision and your drive and your platform your business model can actually convince the right people that you want to join your team so that was the challenge for us what I'm venturing in also is a new media marketing model, kumbaga. So it's really educating also the market that there is such this opportunity that can really help amplify your brand. Mm. And it's really going out there and talking to the right people who actually understand digital and marketing at the same time. So it's really finding the right people who are open to big ideas as well so that you can really partner better and you can also help their brand. So yun yung challenge for us. That's amazing because eh? what you're doing, that's where everything is going right now. Everything is going here. Whoever owns this, whoever are the top apps that people go to here will will always will always win. So before we talk about the business, uh, when you jumped into it, what did your friends say? What did your parents say? Parang because as Filipinos, it's not normal to we're we we're always taught that they just get go into something that's secure, go into something that was safe. Uh, ako when I when I when I quit everything, and I didn't—I don't know if you know this. I my my course in college was engineering. I never practiced engineering single day in my life. But when I when I deviated from it, when I started, everyone, lagi nila sinabi sayang sayang dapat ganun ganon na ginawa mo. How was it for you? What was the what was the experience? Ever since, kasi very bold and daring ako with taking risks. Eh. Mm. Being a freelancer, being able to create organizations, I was always bold and daring. So it wasn't really a surprise for them that I created the business as well with, uh, of course, the people that I trust. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So, no. uh, so starting the business, what what is it exactly for those who don't know, who are not really adept into e-commerce yet, what, what is it? What, what do you guys do? We do real-time marketing. So we create shopping productions for your brands and we amplify it through social media and digital marketing. And um, we create content basically that people would watch and would also buy at the same time mm-hmm. sa products in you. I have a business, I'm selling, I don't know, cupcakes or shampoo. 
how do, how do we work with you? How does it normally work? They can buy our package and we can create content for you. But of course, we will learn what the strategy is that that would be best for you. If okay. if um, you're building your brand, of course, what we want to highlight more is really the brand awareness and the engagement and the, and the marketing funnel. If you're an established brand already, so you want more of your sales conversion. So we have to devise or design your campaign a certain way. It doesn't work na parang content lang yung nilalabas mo. There should be a structure and a foundation on the marketing side of it so that it would work. So that's what we offer. If 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 I would like place a parallel to normal TV, who are you disrupting? What industry is disrupting? What what type of business are you hitting right now? I think it's the uh, direct to conversion sales. Okay. Uh, sorry, direct to sales conversion for your content. Mm-hmm. So most of our digital content, you watch it and then people would engage, but there's no direct buy from it. These content creators would uh, earn from production packages, like uh, we will shoot you, we will sh- we will shoot your productions, or it would be affiliate marketing. So it would be a link out to a certain YouTube of a brand or whatever. But kame we do end to end, so you watch it with uh, engagement marketing traffic plus you get to buy the product right away so this comes out also for Shopee Lazada for whatever platform that people want to buy buy and sell yes yes okay so, so your your expertise really in in selling and all shop in o shopping is to get people to to buy you know in my store i have something that i want to purchase what's what's the best way to uh, get people to interact buy and also. Of course, we have live tools. Naman. You have your Facebook, you have your Instagram, you have your uh, marketplace also where you can go live. So it depends on you and where you want to put out your live video and sell. Um, but uh, I've been observing then that a lot of sellers doing live, that they don't really have a certain structure or a content process or flow. So sige, I'll give you some tips on how you can create better content. So first is you should know how to incentivize your content. Meaning you should create promos, deals, vouchers, giveaways so that people would really choose your content over others. Mm-hmm. What's in it for them pa rin. Yun pa rin ang mentality ng audience. Eh. Kahit sabihin ng brands, ano ba yan? Gasas na naman. But that's the way it is. That's the mentality really of the audience here. Uh, you really need to to create a way for them to choose your content over others. Mm-hmm. So that one, create promos, deals. Um, you can also go live during prime time schedules on that social media or that marketplace app. Okay. So look at your page insights. In terms of prime time, I, I've noticed it varies. So there are some people uh, would say it's 2 to 4. There are some people would say it's 7, 8 p.m. in the evening. Then on weekends, it's so, uh, people would really need to know their numbers before they would know what's prime time also for them. Generally, if you're targeting people um, who are at work or in uh, the office, uh, ang malakas dyan lunch break or after office hours. Mm. So, doon ka magbenta. Pwede rin na after payday, 15, di ba? 30 eh. So, intindihin mo kung ano yung behavior ng market mo kung kailan sila bibili. And another way for you to see the page inside traffic also is pumunta ka dun sa Facebook Insights if you're gonna do Facebook Live. Mm. And tingnan mo, ano ba yung time dun sa page ko na pinakamataas that maybe I can utilize that certain time to sell something. Mm. So with that, mas marami kang eyeballs. Mas maraming pwedeng mag-engage with you. For, for people trying to sell for the first time, where do you suggest they go directly and do all of the live in, in the marketplace or they do it in Facebook or Instagram first and then drive the traffic to uh, to what, whatever shop they have? It depends on your demand and if you have enough inventory. Okay. Right. So if you have enough inventory, go to the marketplace so that you can have a system. It's very easy for you to upload your SKUs, your brand, in, your product images, diba? And it's easy for people to buy. Um, but if you have limited lang, let's say very personal, two or three lang, ganyan, I think it's okay to do it on social media, on your Facebook. And then if there's gonna be a buyer, they can just comment and then 
or message you on the messenger. So it depends on your capacity to supply that certain demand if you're going to create a demand. Okay. Live stream kasi is a community building tool. Mm. So what it does is that um, it helps you engage your followers and then lead them to a certain call to action. So if ang daming nag-engage, just wala ka namang mabigay sa kanya, <laughs> kawawa ka naman, di ba? Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, sayang yung brand mo. Sayang din yung, yung engagement. So at the end of the day, what you want is um, sales and you want also your customers to be happy. Okay, got it. Next, after going live at a certain time, what, what should they do next? Of course, you need to be confident, enthusiastic, and entertaining. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're doing your live stream, okay. so meron kasing mga ibang sellers na parang ganon lang, parang wala man lang animation, walang emotions, de ba? Uh, ito po, ito po binebenta ko, ito po uh, earphones. Kanya. Okay. So put a little bit of animation into it, put emotions as well, because people can really see, taste, hear, smell your product. So it's your job to make them feel, hear, <laughs> see, and taste those uh, products that you want to sell. Mag, mag-acting kang konti. Like, kunyari, this is soap. So, I smell it. Mmm, mabango siya. Mabango po talaga siya. Di ba? Mas convincing siya kaysa yung parang, okay, uh, mabango naman po. Mal- mabango. Parang wala lang. Di ba? So, you try to connect also your body language because it's it's a way for you to sell as well on camera. How would you treat, for example, you're selling a a high-end bag versus a cheap bag. Is there a difference in how you would uh, do that as well? Yes. It depends on your tone of voice. So, if you're selling for a premium bag brand, diba? Siyempre, ang target market mo dyan, gusto mo yung medyo mas premium din yung bibili. Those who have the capacity to buy that certain product at a certain price, right? So, when you talk to them, talk to them in a way that's also aspirational for them or something relatable to them. Okay. So you speak in English. You try to tone down your voice. You modulate it. Hello, everyone. Uh, I want. I, I'd like to show you my bag. This is for sale, de ba Compared to let's say, medyo mas masa. Sure, ayon naman ni masa na medyo social social ka. Alang relatable ka. So, hi guys. Oh, ito meron na ng bag para sa inyo. Uh, ito maganda, de ba? So you should also know your target audience and know how to talk with them and relate to them better. <laughs> but does it mean if it's super high energy, mas masa, if it's uh, more demure, it becomes more premium also? And th- th- not, doesn't follow naman? It depends pa rin sa product that mm. you're selling. And um, syempre, kailangan alam mo yung background nung, nung uh, tone of voice nung produktong yun. So kunyari, uh, skincare. So when you do skincare and it's a little bit premium, of course you'd want to f- make the viewers feel that it's um, gentle on the skin. So when you you when you talk, di ba parang oh it's gentle on my skin, parang ganon. <laughs> Compared to oh grave, it's gentle on my skin. Naglagay ako ng lotion, di ba? So it, it it's just part of how you would animate your certain uh-huh. product feature. When you do that, do you have, do you have metrics that if I if I do that, yung inamoy ko yung sabon versus di ko inamoy, mas, mad, mas malaki yung response ng tao, mas madami mo ibili. But, I think it's really more of the quality of engagement. Yeah. So, uh, it really works better if uh, you use the product properly, di ba? And then the people would ask, ah, okay ba talaga yung shade na yan? Or okay ba talaga yung... Patry nga, lagay mo sa mukha mo. So, when, when they ask you more, it means that it's working. So you try to demonstrate it as animated as possible so that people would be more curious in asking. And when they ask, ibigay mo sa kanila yung hinihingi nila na, na request. Pero syempre, kailangan mo rin naman i-sift out kung ano yung proper sa improper na request, okay. diba? Okay. 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 You can also be more creative in creating your live stream content in selling. So, what you can do is um, a behind-the-scenes content, siguro. A closer look at what's happening with your brand from the back end. Kunyari, oh, ito pala yung factory namin. Ah, ganito pala nirap itong aming product. It's very, very careful. Ganyan. Talagang nilalagyan namin ng love. Diba? Parang the more um, the more sneak peek that you give to your viewers, the more authentic you become as a seller. Mm. And um, people really like that because they, what you see is what you get, yung feeling. 
So give them a little bit of a BTS. And then again, interviews and Q and A's is good also. So we try to always call on the username. Hi, Marvin Hermo. <laughs> oh, sabi ni Marvin, ganito ganyan. Oo nga, Marvin. So mag-comment ka so that the people would feel like it's really uh, relatable to them. Mm. Kasi yun yung kagandahan ng engagement ng live stream. It's real time. So you get to talk to people in a high impact way. Okay. So That's better to break that barrier. It's so interesting. I barely do live because even even this, this is all in YouTube, so it's taped, it's uploaded, it's edited later. So live, pala has its own, uh, has its own flavor also, no? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's fun. You should try it more. <laughs> For some brands, when they keep on doing live stream daily, ganyan, and um, like na familiarize yung audience nila, it creates a behavior that people would watch you at a certain time, and that's good for your engagement. And it also helps in introducing your different products. So your products is also, uh, sorry, live stream is also good if you want to do an in-depth explanation of your product. Paano siya gamitin, ano yung mga information na hindi masyadong nasasabi or naka-highlight. So it actually gives you more opportunity to talk about those uh, features. Live streaming your brand consistently can help create that behavior for your followers. Also, based on my data, it actually helps in increasing your followers because when you say when you do a call to action oh share nyo tong video na to pag share nyo tong video na to again incentivize bibigyan ko kayo ng ganyan ganyan magpaparako lang people would share it share 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 and then it organically yeah it organically increases i mean the numbers organically increases so you get discovered better Mm -hmm. So they would transfer and go to your page. Uh, how would you know that it it's uh, it actually happens that people that were there were the ones who share it or ano lang you just say it as bahala na kung may mag-share or or wala after. Uh, style mo na yon. Pwede kang may tao sa back end na tumutulong sa yon or pweding paunahan sila mm. sumagot sa question mo. So it's that's where you get creative. Galing. And sure, yung mga tao may excite sila. Kaya nga masaya siya kasi pwede mo siyang gawing parang game yung content mo. And again, it's always about incentivizing. There are a lot of businesses pa that are, are medyo traditional pa. What, what would you say to them? How would you convince them that uh, digital online is already everything? Uh, if, you, if you would note it also, the attention now is, our, is Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, it's all digital. Pero ad rates? The ad rates for TV are still high, even though the attention is not there anymore. Yes. Dati pag tra pag traffic sa ads, yun tao na katingin sa billboard. Yun pag traffic sa ads, everyone is on their phones, uh, streaming, watching, watching stuff. If I were a traditional brand, how would you tell me that? Hmm, mag digital ka na rin. This is where you should sell. I think it's not very new anymore. Everyone has their own digital marketing as well, especially for the, the big brands. Um, but it's their appetite on gano kalaki yung budget yung ilalagay ko sa digital, gano kalaki yung budget na ko kay TV. Depende pa rin yan kung nasin yung target market mo. Most of our brands, they want something 360 talaga. So hindi pa rin mawawala yung um, broadcast kasi Pilipinas medyo late na. But they know that dig digital is here. I think it's really more of the live stream uh, as a tool that they could really maximize. That's something new. We can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> if interested kayo. <laughs> uh, I, I have a question. Do you guys, are you the only one in this space? Do you have competitors? We're the only one doing uh, this one. So we have our broadcast uh, live stream studios in Quezon City. And um, again, we're really fusing different um, fundamentals of broadcasting, digital e-commerce in this business. So a little bit of something from these different industries as well. And then we, we created solutions for, for brands as well, for their marketing and advertising. When you did this, of course, the capital to be able to put up studios are it's 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 in, hindi siya basta basta it's different na compared magtatayo kala ng cupcake business. It's how did you do it in terms of planning for the finance for the finances? Do you do you suggest that people who want to start their own business they 
uh, save up the money for it, they get partners or they take out a loan for businesses that they want to start. Kame, what we did was we really got it from our own pockets. Uh, we saved up for it and then we partnered with others as well. And of course, these partners should have connected resources para mas ma-amplify and mas mabilis yung pag-start ng, ng business. So like for us, we're all in uh, e-commerce, in broadcast, um, also in influencer and PR marketing. So these are my partners and we saw the synergy between our businesses mm-hmm. and we banded together for this. Okay. So there's no investor-investor lang, pera lang yung linagay tapos they don't do they don't do anything. No. Okay. When we choose our partners, it's also very important that, that they should be beneficial to the business. Because mm-hmm. um, that's what we don't want. Yung parang, uh, they're just putting in money, mm-hmm. but there's really no other value than that. Because it's easy to put in money, but making the business work for a longer time, um, operationally, uh, of course, grow it. It takes a specific team that would um, have certain expertise. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, tulong tulong kayo dyan. It's 2020. This video will be in YouTube forever. Where do you want to take the company? Para balikan natin to 10 years from now, 15 years from now, people will see, oh, this is where Yas started. This is where Yas started. And this is how she. Of course, we want it to be as big or bigger than China. So oh. we oh. also want it to be. We have that big dream talaga, to create live stream as part of the ecosystem of e-commerce. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're creating, we're going to create more studios. We really want more people to use live stream as a tool for their e-commerce as well. Mm-hmm. For those who want to start their own business, what's your what's your tip for them? For those who, who know deep inside that they want to be entrepreneurs, pero takot sila to take the leap, to take the job. Well, first create a minimum. <laughs> minimum viable product mm. right and then don't be afraid to test it first and if you see that it works with the market then try to invest in it um, in terms of time and money pero don't be afraid to start with something mm-hmm. um, if it's for example selling something let's say creating your own brand or putting a, something online and you try Try live streaming it or try to post a photo of it in your Facebook page and see if the product is actually working or if, if, if it's something that the market really wants. So I guess it's just using low-cost resources first to test your product. And if you feel like, oh, there's a good response, then maybe it's time for you to think bigger. Mm. Is this your you know, uh, is this your passion? Would you suggest that the product that they put out is something that they really love? or? It doesn't matter as long as this is something that papatok and bibenta. I've sold a lot of products. Okay. <laughs> I've sold a lot of products on DV. Uh, some of them, dun ko lang mismo na iintindihan ko ano yung product na yun. Never ko pa siya nag- nagamit sa buhay ko. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, ang philosophy ko dyan, if you're selling something, is that to become empathetic to the market that you're trying to reach and look at that certain benefit and you keep on highlighting that benefit. It doesn't mean that you should be the one benefiting from it, but understand your market and why would they benefit from that product. And that sole purpose of helping them out can actually help you become a better seller. Yon. So for example, way back I was, what, uh, 21 years old? selling like mom products mga oh. sa kusina, ganyan. <laughs> what I had to do was really research on what are their needs, what are their problems. Mm-hmm. Does my mom um, have this certain problem? And when I understand more about their problems and empathize with them, dun ko na may mention yung uh, better na spills na makakatulong dun sa aking um, buyer. Mm-hmm. So understand and empathize Pwedeng yung passion mo is really helping the person, the people, to get the best value out, out of their money. Pwedeng yun yung drive mo. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are the target market for that product. Amazing. Lastly, for people who are scared right now, uh, they don't know how income will possibly come in over the next few months because of, of this. Any words of encouragement for them also? Uh, or if you were, if you were parang I make it situational. You're a person who 
you earn off commission and everyone doesn't want to spend right now, what would you do uh, to leverage the situation to turn it for the better? Build on your brand. So even though there's no direct return of sales right away, building your brand is always a good way for you to bank on, especially when, for example, the lockdown is over already. You're able to bring out the message that you want to create as a professional, as a business, as a brand. So you just keep on building, let's say, content like what you're doing. It, it's good. You're, you're doing your blogs, you're doing your YouTube, you're, you're talking to people. So just build your brand because um, that's a good way for you to increase your awareness and parang kahit na wala siyang direct sales conversion there's always something good that comes out of it just to add to that now for me intent always is everything that sometimes it's not really about also getting earnings off of it immediately uh, it's always about giving so much value to whoever your market is whoever you want to reach as well because when you this is what i know about business if you oversupply people with value money will always follow it it's always about you giving more than what you what what, what people are paying for and when that happens hindi uh, ko ng customer no one no no one will will leave you specially because there's so much talk about marketing and brand brand is basically uh, what you say is also what you will also deliver you, you have the best you have the best brand tapos people try you and then later on uh, hindi magandang service mo hindi na sila ba hindi na sila mm. ba also so correct uh, I super believe in what you uh, what you're what you're saying that you always uh, give 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 more than what people are asking also so I guess that's it for now thank you so much for being part of this uh, lockdown vlog <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was fun <laughs> and, the, and the goal of this is I, I just really want while people are watching this during the lockdown that they uh, they educate themselves they build skills also and and while everyone is tuned into the internet that they use this time for them to be able to catapult them and do better also once the lock, lockdown is over as well so thanks guys thanks to everyone watching this video I hope that you guys got a lot from this and by the way, before I end, Thank how you. can they reach you? How, how can they contact you for anything? Uh... Yeah, you can uh, follow our page on uh, Facebook. So it's Shoppertainment Life. Mm -hmm. And then you can also email me, yes, at shoppertainmentlife.com. Or you can follow me on Instagram. It's at hiasminnery. Mm, galing. Message na lang ako. Oh, follow me, <laughs> you guys. Super, uh, Super galing niya. And ano, uh, you learn a lot from her. She's my ano, inspiration in life. No? <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> Marvin here, whoa. <laughs> so, so thanks, guys. Have a, have a great day ahead and God bless you all.